Whew, it's already 11, 11 a.m. And it's like, oh, 11, 11. People talk about that number all the time, right? Anyway. Uh, but anyway, people take for granted the things that they are entitled to. Okay? And it's obvious. You know, when you can violate the rights of another human being, out open in the open, you know, you're bold enough to, to put this, like, and place job ads on it. And you're bold enough to... <clears throat> print ads for jobs that are of no valid validity. You're basically saying it's okay to harass this person. It's okay to uh, profile this person. It's okay to do these things. We are practicing this out in the open. Okay. We are gathering information for a third party. Okay. Because I'm dumb enough to think that this person just because they're related to me or they're related to this person that they are entitled to receive information about this person. You know, I, I live in a place where I don't want people knowing where I live, you know, but if somebody comes in and says, I'm related to this person, you're going to tell this person where they live, personal information about them, details about them, just because they're related to you. That doesn't mean any, anything. It doesn't matter, you know, and this is how, what angers me is that the fact that so many people receive things in life unjustly or, or they're undeservingly. You know, when you, when my, I myself have worked for years, years, okay, and have received absolutely nothing and it was based on the emotional whims of a crazy sociopath you know that I didn't even ask for and people were willing to do you know so yeah yeah I'm not I'm not going to apologize I don't want to I don't I'm not going to sit here and tell you once again that I don't want to be a part of your religion and I don't care about your little bullshit but just don't interfere with my life anymore and um I'm just, I'm done, you know, and I, I think it really brings out the stupidity in other people, you know, the hypocrisy of other people, you know, where people, and it really, I, people think, well, just because I'm all by myself, that I'm desperate, like, you know, I'm going to sit here and be, and be friends with somebody who stab have been doing everything they could to stab me in the back, back. But, you know, I'm so lonely, I'm going to be their friend. Fuck no. Doesn't work like that. Only an idiot would accept that. I'm going to sit here and be friends with somebody who is conspiring with the same people who've ruined my life. And they were only helping these people ruin my life knowingly. So I'm going to turn around and be their friend. Think about it. No, it's not. It's ever going to happen. So, um, you, know, you just move on. You know, and you know, you can't really trust anyone because everyone in town knows who you are. So it's just, you know, you just go on with your life, you know, but as for my life, this is my life. Okay. You've ruined so much of it in the past and now it's time for me to live my life, you know, and I say that if, uh, whatever I want to do in my life is what I want to do at, at this point in my life. So if, time, if, if, you know, people from Facebook want to see me, then they can come and see me, you know. But if they don't, then they've made up their mind, you know. Uh, if, if Stephen wants to see me, then he can see me. And if you don't like it, I don't care if you don't like it. What I do is not a reflection of the family. And what you do is not a reflection of the family. Or what I mean, it shouldn't say it's just a standard for anything it doesn't set any standard or it's like you have the right to do whatever you want you know and I have the right to do whatever I want you know and if he wants to see me then he should see me um and I would be very grateful if he did you know and I accept the fact that he has a mental disability I mean I the older I get the more I start thinking about these people who claim to know so much and they went they're so accomplished and they went they got this master's degree the more I start talking to these people, the more I realize they, they really don't know. Some of them do, 
you know but a lot of them don't a lot of them have just gone through the motions like i said they're just going through the motions tanya is one of those people who've just gone through the motions because what she just acted out in public is like the the most it's a it's a failure it's a failure and it's an, it's a crime first of all it's a failure and it's illegal so it shows that you know nothing about human relations about any of the any of those like courses that you took in college they've done nothing for you you know so it, that's how it is with most people that i've seen you know i'm not impressed you know what's important to me especially at this point in my life is to have someone to talk to that is relatable you know hey somebody who likes my weird ideas and collections you know it's about having someone to talk to someone you can bond with it's not really you know i've never been the kind of person that would want anyone to take care of me like for example um my ex-husband he didn't have the funds to take care of me not on his back solely you know maybe his family was helping me find jobs i don't know maybe you know but um i don't i don't know he wasn't rich, you know. I always made more money than he did. So I, I don't know, you know. And I have no idea who I'm going to end up marrying in the first place. So for you to sit there and hold, put my life on hold for something, it was either an excuse that you were making up or, or you know, to put my life on hold for something that we don't know that's determined yet, that hasn't been determined yet. I'm 48 years old, you know. I'm assuming I need to go on with my life regardless. Whether I met Mr. Wealthy Moneybags or not, it's like, you know, people have the right to work. And even if I did meet Mr. Mo Wealthy Moneybags, I doubt I'd have anything in common with Mr. Money ba Wealthy Moneybags because rich people are fucking snobs and I don't have anything to do with them, okay? So I doubt that he would even associate with someone with the likes of me. So, you know, it seems kind of stupid to even make that a scenario, but still, okay? If I was to marry a rich person, I would still insist on working. I would. Because that man will do nothing but abuse you. Okay? And make it so that you can't leave. I got to always watch my back. I got to protect myself. There's too many people with this need to control. And I've got to watch my back. I got to take care of myself. So money is not an issue. You know, it's not an issue when it comes to you know relationships with me that's not an issue the issue is, is i don't i'm talking to the public when i'm making this statement i'm not talking to you guys in a friendly tone because i fucking hate you guys um i'm referring to my ex-family i'm talking about the public the people who are listening to my videos it's not about um my issues it, it says i like being alone i do you know sure you you wish you had decent friends that aren't stabbing you back but you want to have you know, relationships and stuff. But you were very selective about the kind of people. You don't want backstabbers. You want people who are listening to you. They either can constructively help you in your life's journey by adding to it or at least being a cheerleader for you, you know. And they're not sabotaging your life. You have people too many times people allow themselves to associate with people who always have a secret agenda like keeping your enemies close type thing and i'm like you know i i don't like the vibe that enemy enemies give off so i prefer to stay the hell away from it you know i just don't i don't see any point in that you know i understand sincerity of people is rare it's a very rare thing so to me it's it's a sacred thing so that's what i seek I seek what is sacred. I seek good. I seek good-hearted people. You know, I mean, I might seek them my entire life because I'm going to tell you, from what I've seen, there's. I don't think there's one on the face of this earth. The messed-up world we live in. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Be back with another one later. Take care.